A Lone Puppy says it would be great to have audio commentary from the actors, directors, and producers, right? We don't have much of that from the actual show. I mean, they've all done some great interviews. Season three, especially with Inside the Orville uh, featurettes that, that they did for every single episode, as well as they did one for the entire season. Those are great, but actual commentaries. Uh, Lone Puppy says, I used to watch DVD commentaries. It was interesting to hear background stories. They are very interesting. There's lots of fans out there of different types of content that like getting that behind the scene uh, conversation going and they can listen in, be part, be a fly on the wall and be part of it and learn so much. Uh, the Orville, as far as DVDs and physical media go, not much going on. Uh, Fox released season one and season two on DVD, not Blu-ray, because Fox doesn't really do much with Blu-ray. They, they they had a meeting years and years and years ago. Uh, uh, Blu-ray sales were kind of flat. They're like, let's not waste time and money on Blu-rays. We'll throw up some DVDs because it's cheap and simple. Season three isn't available on physical media. It's only available digitally. You can buy the Orville season three. Well, any of the seasons really, but you can get season three digitally, own it on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, and then watch it whenever you want, commercial free. And the video quality is really dang good. Uh, uh, much better than the other, than the streaming services. That's a question, that's, that's a video I, I wanna make soon. It'll be a talking head video, me just talking with you guys about the DVD situation. I think the Orville is part of kind of an experiment because, you know, they're, they're trying to be proactive in whatever the, the audience is, is into at the time. People aren't into, well, I mean, there are people that are into physical media, but not a lot of people that would make it uh, worthy of the trouble. They wouldn't make much money on doing it at this time. But if the audience, if viewers prove that they are willing to purchase physical media, then of course, physical media will be made. It's just the, the, the general market right now. It's not that big. DVDs, physical media is going the way of CDs. People don't buy CDs hardly at all anymore. It's very, very rare. You go to the places that used to have huge music CD collections uh, for sale, Target, Walmart, Best Buy. It's all dwindled to a, just a little, a tiny little shelf of best ofs, right? That's kind of where DVDs, um, our physical media is going in this uh, digital age that just keeps getting more and more and more digital. So we'll have to see if the audience is able to uh, let the studios know, hey, no, we want to kind of have this on our shelves. We want to be able to pop in an Orville disc and watch it whenever we want and not have to rely on the internet. Uh, but that'll be up to the general audiences because when it comes to studios who make this stuff, uh, money talks and you know what? Walks. But I'll see you guys very soon. And remember, we all do better when we all do better. And let me press a button here that I want to press. And here's that button coming at you now.